We've all heard a great deal about climate change, about how the world is altering and the impacts it's going to have on humans. But what is happening also is that plants and animals are adapting. Yes, they're migrating to different places, but deep down in sub-Saharan Africa, we've seen another more worrying phenomenon, and that is the very plants that the poorest rely on are adapting, and they're adapting in a way which is poisonous and toxic to humans and livestock. So what is actually happening? Well, as we know from Darwin, everything evolves. And so what we have are plants that are protecting themselves from the conditions of drought. We know now that there's a gene that gets turned on by some of the critical plants, green pea, for example, which many rely on. And this gene turns on a process which means that the plants protect themselves from drought by accumulating prussic acid. Unfortunately, prussic acid is highly toxic to humans. And so at the one hand, you have something to eat in your hand, a plant that you've known all along, but actually as you eat it, it is poisonous to you. And so we finally have an answer to why people living in those conditions are dying, why they have huge nervous problems, why their livestock are also dying on their feet. This phenomenon, what I call a poison chalice, is something that we need to be much, much more aware of. Can we fix it? Yes, we have tools. We have tools coming from genetic engineering. And so at the heart of this is a moral dilemma. Will we actually reopen the discussion around genetic engineering as opposed to genetic modification? And that is at the heart of climate change.